I remember it so clearly. He came into my office wearing only one shoe. The other foot looked very swollen. Buenos dias, he said. He had been working in his landscaping job the day before when he accidentally dropped the bed of the truck on his foot. Me dolió mucho. It hurt a lot, he said. He didn't want to go to the hospital because he couldn't afford the bill. He did not speak English, did not have health insurance, and as a recent immigrant was completely unfamiliar with the U.S. health care system. Why didn't you go to the hospital yesterday was my first thought. His foot looked so bad, I couldn't understand how or why he waited until the morning to come see me at El Sol. I took it for granted that you could just go to a doctor when you were sick. After making a few phone calls and looking up options online, nothing. That was the moment when I realized that people had no options. We were working in labor and employment, not health care. What do people do? I thought. I felt so helpless. I had others like him who came in seeking assistance with health-related issues, many without cars, so we had to figure out the route they would have to take to access the closest free clinic. You take the bus behind our building, get off at the Gardens Mall, catch a different bus to Boynton Beach Boulevard, walk for a mile, and you will find the clinic there. It became clear to me that our community needed a change. For many, it was a mission impossible to simply go to the hospital or the doctor after an injury or illness. Here at El Sol, we started raising awareness. It was outside our mission, but people can't work if they are sick or injured. We realized that others might be interested. The local hospital, the health department, the town. We called a meeting and I was shocked. They responded. We formed a coalition and health became part of our strategic plan. Now I understand that health, jobs, education, they're all tied together. Now when someone comes in who is sick, there is a solution. Now I know that working together, we can make changes. There really is hope.